can do a raft system timber frame bed house which is going to go here so we've just been working on the um, like the shed at the back there and doing a bit of landscaping popping the fences in so this is a, a build in the back garden my sister my husband so that's why I get roped <laughs> We've got the surveyor coming today, this is just roughly marked out, so we're going to mark it out properly. A good tip when you're marking out, I prefer to have the um, pegs in the centre of the bucket. You can have whatever your preference is, but what I'm going to do, what I normally do, is pop some rebar, so like a metre or so past, um, just somewhere where it's not really going to get moved or damaged, and you do that wherever you can. And that way, if you lose a peg or a mark, or in this case, because it's the raft system, we won't be able to see this. And then we've got to build the raft in. So we can then just, if we've got these sort of pegs or rebars up against the fence, we can then run a string line along said lines. And you keep an idea of roughly where you are, making sure that the house is going to fit on it. We have to go down a metre over the whole site. And then we're going to put the water in, the water pipes, because we're going to have um, a harvester, rainwater harvester, out there. So we need a pipe that's going to suck the water from the harvester back into the house. And then from the front on the road there, we're going to have the mains water and gas, and some electric somewhere <laughs> coming in. So that'll have to go underneath everything and then pop up through the raft. But you know, when you see these big sites, they, they probably all GPS. tie it all into GPS. So when you know, because they have multiple engineers coming back and all the rest of it, so all the coordinate system, whatever kit they're using, they know. Makes sense. That they can just. But I don't get involved in that. Okay. This is to feed the um, mains water pipe into the house. So what's really, really important is that you put concrete behind it because as you push the mains pipe in, the last thing you want is that to move and then you've lost it. And this is a crucial part. So it's really, really important. that 
pipe in for the mains water. We've done it under everything and it goes slightly protrudes out into there so when all the concrete's laid we can come and then we'll just chop into there and find it and then take it off to the road. And then um, any other little niceties and things, it's just sort of there's a bit of a water pipe and um, electric ducting. I don't know if that'll work or not, but <laughs> that will come inside the utility room alongside the mains water room and that actually goes up to feed the shed which will have a toilet and an electric. You can see where this has just been laid and then along the side of it you can see the difference there where it's just been tracked in and then, and then over here is where you can see it's been properly vibrated in binds a lot tighter and you have to do that every 150 mil happy days Again. That's not as handy to 
go and put your stakes in and, um, and keep going back to your swimming and these. Well, it sounds like you're farting, is it? <laughs> <laughs> This is our boot detail. And it steps out. See four bits of rebar. So when you buy a cage, it doesn't come with that. This bit it doesn't come with that on it. It just comes with a square cage. So if you have this detail, which is Now, with your boots, it just makes life a lot easier because you just go and slide them on right up there. See? It does make life a lot easier. Head in, fire that, go down, and come back. That's insane. The bit they didn't tell us. <laughs> That's going to go through one or two blades. <laughs> Shit. Right, better late than never with this. These are the cages I've been putting in. Should go all the way around the site. And then the shuttering on the outside, as you would have noticed, just to keep the concrete on the right side of it. And then I have all that mesh there, which still has to go in three deep. Seems completely excessive to me. And I'll show you exactly how it's going, because I did a couple of examples just like that. Hopefully that puts you off building for life. It has me. <laughs> <laughs>